Ugh, I am so annoyed right now. I am tired of going to hair events where a professional stylist is supposed to style my hair and does not know how to style curly hair. It is 2024. How do we still have professional stylists that have no idea what to do with a ringlet or slightly textured hair? I'm just gonna vent today while I put on my makeup. So here's the thing. I think I have a bone to pick with all quote unquote professional hairstylists. I just really don't think it's fair that you can get your professional license without having to ever master curly hair. Like when you want to go get certified as a professional hairstylist, why is curly hair like an afterthought or like one chapter out of the entire book? I guess you can say hair is hair. It's made up of the same properties, but when it comes to styling and you're a professional stylist, you should have to know how to do curly hair before you're actually certified. And that's why I don't really care when people try to say like, oh, you're an influencer, what do you know? I'm gonna listen to a professional certified stylist because I actually have curly hair and I do my hair all the time. So I probably have learned more on my own than what is actually taught in professional beauty school. I just think it's crazy how if I was going to try to be certified, I would not be able to pass if I couldn't do a standard blowout, if I didn't know how to use a curling wand, uh, a curling iron, a straightener, how to apply maybe color, I would not be able to be certified. But if you don't know how to style curly hair, it's okay, you can figure it out later. I have talked to so many professional curly hairstylists and I say, oh, how did you learn how to master curls and every single stylist that I have personally spoken with has said that they had to learn curly hair on their own after they graduated, after they became certified professional stylists. They had to decide to continue their education so that they could know what to do because they weren't taught in class. How does that make sense? So now you're a professional stylist and now you have to go get certified, whether it's at one point diva certified, there's a Kato cut. There is all these different types of curly certifications. It's an extra step. Why are we an extra step? Why do we have to be an afterthought? We should just be part of the main curriculum. Do you know how many people have naturally curly hair in the world? Whether it's a wave, a curl, or even tighter textures. It's not like it's specializing in blue hair. It's something very common. So angry I'm getting ready without a mirror. I don't even know what I look like. If the roles were reversed and I was someone that knew how to do curly hair, but I didn't know how to use a straightener, a curling wand, or put highlights on straight hair, I would not pass. So why is it okay to be able to move on and call yourself a professional only knowing how to do straight hair, but you don't have to know curly hair? Can you imagine if the roles were reversed? And like people only knew how to do curly hair and they didn't know what to do with a straightener or a curling wand. You'd be like, what is wrong with you? You're not a professional, you can't do hair. Because that's an obvious thing. To be a certified stylist, you should be able to do it all. Now I understand that there are specialties, right? If you wanna be a doctor, you don't just go to overall doctor school. It's like, well, do you wanna be a heart surgeon? Do you wanna be a brain surgeon? Like there's different levels, but it's all um, important and it's available for you to learn. You, you then go off into your different categories. With hair, once you're done, you're just done. And it's up to you if you wanna go find some random curly education class or learn how to do it on your own. One of my friends at the stylist told me that she didn't learn how to do curly hair um, during her training. But during her training, she had to teach her class how to do curly hair because she had curly hair and she just learned from doing her own hair. She had to teach a class while being a student. <sighs> now here's the thing that people really don't want to hear. Okay, unpopular opinion, but I feel like it's got to be said. Just because someone is a black hairstylist does not mean they know how to style naturally curly black hair. I've gone to events where they're like, oh, let's send her 
to the black stylist, because there's probably only one, and she should be able to do her hair. In a perfect world, it would make sense for somebody born with tighter textures to know how to do someone else's hair with tighter textures. But the sad reality is so many girls with natural textured hair don't know how to do their own hair. You might be surprised how many people tell me I haven't even tried to do my own hair. I don't know how to do my own hair. I've always straightened it. I've always relaxed it. I've always had a weave. I've always had a wig. I've always had a protective style. I literally don't know how to do my own natural hair. Isn't that crazy to not know how to do your own hair that comes out of your head? But that's because we come from a time where straight hair was, I'll say was, superior. And straight hair was the standard beauty standard. If you had straight hair, it was beautiful, it was curly, it was frizzy, puffy, and not cute. So everybody, decided to straighten their hair to fit in to this social norm of what is accepted. And the older generation was really about that life when it comes to a hot comb and getting your hair straightened for special events, maybe even quinceaneras if you wanna go other ethnicities. So many have that story of straight hair was the way. So when I see an older black hairstylist who says they are a professional stylist, I gotta be real specific to know like what you mean by natural hair. Like, are you straightening natural hair or are you styling it in its naturally curly, kinky state? Because there's a difference. It's kind of getting to a point where if I am paired up with a black stylist, I'm almost, I don't know, not, maybe not more nervous, but just as nervous with any other stylist because there's a good chance that this stylist specializes in straightening curly hair, silk press, getting a weave, installing a wig, maybe even braids. That's just probably more of what their clientele is asking for. So that's what they've specialized in. So now here I come wanting to actually rock my hair like this, and they're clueless. I'm not even gonna share the footage because I'm not trying to put anybody on blast because, you know, the stylist, she was a really sweet girl. And I also suffer from salon chair muteness, I guess I can say, where I'm just, I just smile and I just sit there and I just don't know how to speak up <laughs> when I'm in a salon chair. I'm the one that's like, hating how my hair is turning out. I'm like, thanks, looks great. And then I tip the person. I don't know why, I know it's bad. I know I need to be better at that because like you're spending your money. But I also, like, I just don't like to hurt anyone's feelings. I know I shouldn't care, but like, you know you do it too. Comment below if you've done that too. So like, she's really nice, but what are you doing to my hair? Like, I'm just gonna give you a demonstration. Here's my hair, right? How do we style our hair? We smooth in the product. We, you know, maybe go like this, we scrunch it, we scrunch the whole thing up and then we smooth it down. She was doing this. Like, this is my hair. Like, she was going like this, like tossing it. What is this? When I saw that, I knew my hair was done. <laughs> I knew I was like, I'm gonna have to go home and redo my hair. To style my hair, she literally got a brush and brushed this part back. For me to wear it down, in what world would I want to do a slick back down look? Like if I'm going to pull it back, it better be going into a ponytail. She's like, let me brush, brush everything down so that I can leave like this? Is this the goal? I'm actually, this is coming from a very fresh place. This is the hair that was styled. I've been trying to fix it for this video. I did a pretty good job, but it was a lot of work. And there's no reason why I should have to restyle my hair after seeing a perfect professional stylist. Make it make sense. Comment below if you've ever got your hair done and then immediately had to redo your hair after paying someone else to do your hair professionally. I, I, I don't even have to see the comments right now. I know they're there. I know their stories because we've all been there and I'm just sick of it. I'm really tired of natural hair being an afterthought in this professional space. Yes, we have way more natural hair brands now, but if these stylists don't know how to apply the products, 
the products mean nothing. And like, as much as people want me to create my own hair products, that's like the main thing holding me back is like the education. There needs to be the education because I can make the best products in the world, but if you don't know how to apply them, there's too many mistakes. My product is not going to look good on you because of how the person is applying it. And for that, I feel like my job isn't done as an educator. I may not have a fancy professional certificate, because doing other people's hair isn't my passion. But what I am passionate about is figuring it out and sharing knowledge that actually helps people with naturally curly hair. And I think it's safe to say from this YouTube platform, from Instagram, TikTok, that I've been able to help way more people than probably an individual hairstylist who only sees her clients in her chair. But I kind of think we have to think of it as like our driver's license. Our license expires. Yeah, we need to put an expiration date on all professional hairstylist license. And we gotta just do a redo. Like we gotta add a really legit, natural, curly, kinky hair, textured hair curriculum that you must pass in order to call yourself a professional hairstylist. It is not fair to say you're a professional if you only know how to do one person's hair. I would consider the word professional, a pro, a top dog, someone that could do it all. That's why you're a pro, because you could do it all. So we must add a curly hair division to the test. Then you must physically do someone's curly hair Someone that has wavy hair, someone that has my texture, someone that has a type four, tighter, kinkier curl, someone with low porosity, someone with high porosity, somebody with multiple curl textures, somebody with heat damage, somebody with new growth. We need to actually try these things because these should be very common things that you see in your salon all the time. And only then, if you can complete these, then you get your license back. What do you know? And if this offends you, you might just be someone that needs to go get that license renewed. Because I know the curly hairstylists that I recommend, the salons that I've seen, the Instagram pages that I've seen, some of y'all have mastered curls and it's so beautiful. And that's why it's so important that you have your salon that specializes in curly hair because it's, it's limited. I have people writing me from all over the world. Hey, do you know a stylist in, Oklahoma? Do you know a stylist in Arkansas? Do you know a stylist in Canada? No. Okay, I've never been there. But I try to find at least one salon in each state, if need be, to give you guys options because we are all desperately searching for someone that we can trust with our hair. I hate that it's a normal thing for us to sit in a salon chair and then we're like nervous. Like we should be going to get our hair done being excited. Like, oh, I'm at the salon, I'm gonna get my hair cut, colored, like, you should be excited. You should not be terrified. And no one is more terrified in a salon chair than a person with curly hair. That's a fact. <laughs> and we shouldn't have to keep feeling this way. I have finally found a salon that I'm comfortable with, that I know when I go in, I'm gonna be happy with how my hair looks when I leave. And to be honest, I'm always happy with my cut and my color. But even still, I do have a preference on how my hair is styled. And I don't expect everyone to maybe style my hair the exact way that I like to style it. But you gotta at least know the basics. Like I, I gotta at least have enough product. I need to at least have definition. If I need to make it bigger later, I can do that. But I shouldn't have to go home and just completely wash and redo my hair. That's crazy. After spending money? Oh, no, no, no. Whew, <laughs> This is why I had to film this video now because I'm just like literally fired up right now and I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm over it. Why is this still a conversation? Why have we not updated this curriculum to become a professional hairstylist? We've been updating a lot of things in life. This seems like something that's pretty important and oh so common. I don't even know why I'm getting ready right now. Like I literally have nowhere to go. And I'm not in a good mood to go anywhere. So I'm just, I guess I'm putting on makeup just to vent. <laughs> just to look a little bit cuter by the end of this video. So what is the solution you may ask? I mean, like we need everyone to have to renew their license. And if anyone has a problem with that, I feel like it's more telling that you are nervous. <laughs> 
You know, I get that like, oh, I've been a professional for 20 years. I don't have to renew my license because I'm a professional. If you're a professional and you've been doing this for 20 years and you've been able to go 20 years without having to do curly hair, uh, yeah, you kind of prove my point. You shouldn't be able to get away with that. And I know like the stylists I know, they're so good with natural curly kinky hair that they could probably do it with their eyes closed. I feel like they'd be like, you know what? Bring it on. This is what I do. And maybe if you could just prove yourself via your clients, testimonials of people with real curly hair, maybe you don't have to be certified again. Maybe, maybe we'll allow some exceptions because you've proven your worth. You are known in the natural hair community. And to be completely fair, if you specialize in curly hair, can you also do straight hair? Like it, it goes both ways. We're gonna be fair about this. But I feel like more times than not, the stylists that I know that do curly hair always know straight hair because that's what they were taught in school and that's what they had to learn. Another thing worth mentioning is the price of a curly cut. Because there are so few legit natural curly hair professional salons, they are able to charge 200 plus dollars for a haircut. Like that's honestly been like the standard that I've come across. And it's not to say that that's not what they're worth because they do amazing jobs, amazing color, amazing cuts, shaping it the way it should be, giving us length, depth, layers, and also education. Most curly hair professional stylists that I know are often educating while they're doing your hair. So that way when you go home, you're not just lost. Like you still know how to apply products properly. It's not just like close your eyes, I'm doing your hair and you don't know what's going on. Like they're telling you, use this kind of product first and end it off with a gel and apply like this and smooth and scrunch. Like it's a learning experience and there's value in that for sure. But I also feel like they're able to charge more because they know they are rare and anything rare and in scarcity you're able to get away with charging more because you are now a specialty. And this is no shade to them, but I almost feel like curly hair shouldn't be a specialty. It should be normal across any salon. I should be able to go into any salon and a professional style should be able to do my hair. I shouldn't have to call ahead and ask, hey, can you do curly hair? Think about that. People with straight hair are not calling ahead and saying, hey, do you do straight hair? Cause that sounds crazy, right? <laughs> so why is it crazy if they say it, but not crazy if we say it? If you have straight hair, you could go to like a super cuts. You could get a simple haircut trim for maybe $20. Will it be the best cut? Probably not, but it's an option. If somebody with curly hair goes to super cuts, you're literally asking for depression. You're not gonna be happy with your hair if you go to Supercuts and you have hair like mine or even tighter curls. The probability is very low, but I wish we could have different options where you can obviously pay more for the best of the best, the better curly hair stylist, but I don't think you should have to pay $200 because that's the only way to get a curly haircut. There should be affordable haircuts and you should be able to splurge on the better stylist if you want to. So with all this being said, let this just be an overall PSA to any brands watching. If you are going to throw a brand event where you plan on inviting curly girls and guys, please be prepared to have an actual curly hair stylist that can do something for their hair. We hate feeling isolated in a room of straight hair where we're watching everybody get blowouts. They're getting bigger curls added. Like, yes, it's, it's easier to style straight hair at an event on the go. But it would be cool if you could have someone style, like do a hair style on our curly hair. We're already gonna come with it ready. There's not much you gotta do to it. Maybe you can, smooth out some flyaways, maybe you can make it bigger. But in order for us to really like try product, you're gonna have to soak our hair, style it, diffuse it. Ain't nobody got time to do that at an event. Like we might just need to cut out that whole curly hair styling thing at events. It just doesn't work because we need at least an hour to have a good wash and go at this party. So have someone that can braid, have someone that could do a cool curly hair updo. 
someone that could refresh a little bit, make it bigger, maybe a little more defined, but like don't just hire professionals thinking that they can do everybody at the party. Please take the time to find someone that actually specializes in type three and four curls. And that does not mean just hire a black stylist, okay? Actually look at their work and see if they have some proof to prove they know what they're doing. I don't think I've ever left an event where I was like, wow, I love how my hair looks. Like maybe it's decent, but I, it's not, I'm not in love with it. Why am I leaving an event with wet hair? My hair is now not, it's not completely styled. There's no way a girl with straight hair would leave a salon with, with wet hair but it might have to be accepted for curly hair because it takes that long to dry. Like my hair type is often considered like the easier curly hair pattern to do. If you can't even master my hair, I'm not even gonna try to bring somebody around you that has tighter hair than me. Tighter curls, type four, type four C. What are you gonna do with that? If you can't even handle my hair. So like, I'm just like the base minimum of the type of curl you should be able to do. Because there's way more levels past me in porosity, in density, in tightness of the curl. I'm the bare minimum. Get it together. So I just had to get it off my chest. Comment below if you've ever been in a salon chair just terrified. Comment below if you've ever hated your haircut or hair treatment from a professional hairstylist. And comment below if you think that we need to do something about it. If you think there needs to be a change in the beauty education certification standards. Do you think someone should be able to call themselves a professional hairstylist if they only know how to style one type of hair? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share this video so we can get the word out that there needs to be a change. If you actually have curly hair and you want to learn how to do it from maybe a not professional, but someone that really knows what she's talking about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I post new videos every week educating you on how to truly style your curly hair and how to find the best products for your curls. You also can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ms. Bianca Renee if you wanna see me daily. That's all for now. I've said what I've had to say. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.